All right, so this time we're gonna be using two sensors. We're gonna see how it differs from the one sensor. Let me try to get a pretty, all right, 88 sounds good. I'm trying to get it in a good lighting here. And the green over here, because this is where it's a little bit brighter. Yeah, 11, all right. So I do like the same steps as before. I do some calibrations, um, but it's still highly variable based on the lighting, as you'll see. So I'm gonna let it run, um, and we'll see what happens. Oh wait, oops, I'm, I didn't press the button. <laughs> There we go. As you can see, it goes, it goes, it does go straight on the green, which is cool. Sometimes it'll zigzag on the green, but um, again, it depends on the lighting, and it's zigzagging on the edge because it's trying to get back into the green, the green area. All right, now let's try going the other way. It should work exactly the same. And there you go. Works exactly the same going the opposite direction too. So both directions can now work. Um, it can now go a lot, it can now go straighter and go a little bit faster. Um, but it's still, but because it's like a constant circle, it still has to constantly stop and turn, but it's definitely a lot faster than just using one, and it, I think it can make it a lot more precise. Um, but yeah. There you have it.